Hey, this is Kyle from Pure Storage, and today we're going to show you how a demo of how to deploy an ESXi host uh, from start to finish, uh, including applying a UCS service profile uh, via UCS director on Pure Storage. Uh, so first, we're going to log into the UCS director portal. So now briefly, we'll just take a, a quick tour of the Flash stack that is underneath this UCS director instance. So you can see we have VMware as the hypervisor layer. Uh, UCSM is controlling our uh, B200 M4 servers. And then we have two redundant Nexus switches, as well as obviously pure storage. Um, under the policies section, there is an orchestration tab. Uh, under which is our predefined pure storage workloads, uh, which we're going to execute in this demo. Um, you can see deploy ESXi host. Um, this is the workload we want to execute here. Um, basically, this is a pretty long and involved workflow. There's uh, lots of moving pieces, but what's great about it is that uh, it will basically take a UCS server, um, apply a service profile to it, image it with ESXi, um, and give it IP address and all that good stuff. So we're going to speed things up here because um, it's a fairly long wizard. Um, but you can see we're assigning it a management IP address, uh, giving it subnet, gateway, DNS server, uh, giving it an ESXi root password, uh, giving it a demo, or excuse me, a boot volume on the pure storage array, uh, as well as a another data store that could be shared amongst multiple ESXi hosts. Um, this is our UCS domain. We're going to select our two fabric switches. Here we're assigning WWNs from the pure array to this uh, UCS server. And then lastly, we select our boot policy. So now the workflow has been kicked off. We'll obviously be skipping uh, around a little bit here in order for the sake of keeping this demo a little shorter. Um, but you can see within UCSM, the B-series server is already having the service profile applied to it. Uh, the service profile has now been associated with the server. We're going to open up our KVM console to enable us to uh, follow along with the deployment of ESXi to this UCS server. So now we've created a boot volume and we've connected that boot volume uh, to the host from the pure array. You can see the host here and then you can see the boot volume. Uh, let's take a look at the Nexus 5K switches. We just want to confirm that all of the proper uh, zoning has occurred at the switch level. So we'll show uh, the active zones. So here we can see that is our ESXi host that we uh, set up in the UCS director workflow. And then we'll repeat it on the other Nexus switch just to show that the proper WWNs have been associated uh, with that UCS server. So zoning has been completed. Now we're going to actually power on the UCS server and install ESXi. So again, we're skipping part of the boot process here in the interest of saving time. Um, but you can see ESXi has, we booted into it um, via the ISO. Uh, we've just installed it right there. Um, and now we're going to boot back into ESXi and uh, register it as a host node and do all the other uh, final configurations for ESXi. So you can see the static IP address has been defined. Um, all of the ESXi configuration is complete, and there it's appearing within vCenter. So we had an existing vCenter instance that we are registering this ESXi host against. So you can see there it's been added. Um, it's now within our Cisco Live uh, 
data center. You can also do it at the cluster level as well if you like. Um, and those are our two data stores that we defined um, during the UCS director workflow uh, template. With that, uh, the ESXi host has been completed. In actuality, this probably took about 15 minutes to complete um, all the different steps. Obviously, we compressed it quite a bit for you guys. But anyway, thank you.